shouldn't I telephone the school? Because I don't want you to. But there is no point at all in going through all this performance with shampoos and, and lotions if you just go back to school and catch them all over again. But nobody else has got them. Oh, they must have. Where do you think you caught them? Because I haven't got head lice. Well, I haven't got them either now, so let's just drop it. You caught them off Suzanne, I shouldn't wonder. I didn't. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm late. Oh, yeah. Oi, that's my one. No, it wasn't, son. It was mine. That's my one. That one's yours. Oi, Batman. That one's his, okay? Oi, Pogo, do you remember Clarence looking for you? Yeah. Yeah, he ain't got no money off that chain letter thing you bought off of him. Who is it? He's over there. Have you seen this? Oh, the chain letter thing. Yes, I have seen a couple of them floating around. And are you taking any action about it? Well, I don't think so. I mean, it's not against the law, is it? And these things usually die a natural death? Well, I'm afraid I don't think that's good enough, Mr. Howard. These things are a confidence trick. And the thing that I object to is that it's something for nothing. And I don't want the children in this school thinking that's a desirable ideal. Morning. Uh, morning. morning. Well, uh, what would you like me to do about it? Well, I want you to find out who started it. And I want you and all the other yearheads to warn the children about this sort of thing. Well, yes. I'll uh, see what I can do. Thank you. Here he is, Nige. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Pogo. You know why we've come, don't you, Pogo? No. Of course you do. We got a score to settle with you. Why, well, what have I done? This chain letter. You started it, didn't you? Yeah, me and a few others. Yeah. Well, it's a con, Pogo. And you should know better than to con someone like your old friend, Jimmy McLaren. Look, it's not a con. I mean, why is it a con? Six hundred pounds you're supposed to get. That's what it says here. Yeah, it takes time now. Yeah. Well, I ain't got nothing yet. Nor me. Yeah, well, you're not the top of the list yet. How long's that take? Well, it depends how quick people sold their letters. Well, how much you made? Me? Yeah, you. I'm not much. It's slow in coming in, but... We should have been at the top of the list, Pogo. That's right, Pogo. Along with you. Yeah, well, everybody can't be top. No, that's right. Not everybody can be top. But you should know not to forget me, Pogo. Cos you see, Pogo, you never know when you're going to need someone like me. So what are we going to do about it? Look, there's nothing I can do. It's up to the people you sold your letters to. Oh, no. I ain't chasing round after them. You are. But I don't know who they are. It's all right. We've done you a list. Cos you see, Pogo, if we don't get our 600 quid, we can cause you a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble, son. Think about it. Yeah, well, we know the money's not getting through. I mean, I'm not getting as much as I should. But what can you do? No one can be bothered to write the letters no more. We'll just have to get onto them. How can we? There must be hundreds of them by now. Just about every kid in the old school's bought one. Some of them too. Anyway, have you sent your money off? Me? Yeah. What about you? Nah, not yet, but I will. You'd better. Pogo! Tell you what. What? Why well, did nothing of it before? I'm a genius. He's modest with it and all, isn't he? <laughs> we can bung the old flipping lot on the computer and not bother with the letters at all. How do you mean? What I say. Look, we should be able to program the computer with who sent the letters to who. And then it can tell us who should be paying 20p. I'm not with you. OK, so it tells us who should be paying us money. But how do we know to pay our money to? We tell them. Look, they come into the scheme. They've already collected 10p off the kids they sold their letters to, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, then we tell them who they should be paying the other 20p to. I still don't get it. Oh, never mind. Just leave it to Uncle Stu. You know, you could be on to something here, Stu. Of course I am. I told you I'm a genius. Now listen, 
What we'll have to do, we'll have to find out from the kids who they sold their letters to. I've got it now. we find out who they sold their letters to. <laughs> yeah, and then we've got to find out who they sold their letters to. Blimey, this is going to take us all week. No, it's not. Then we've got Jonathan that works up the computer. You know, we could charge a fee for this. A fee? What for? Yeah, well, like Dwayne says, it's going to be a lot of hard work. And after all, we're saving in the bother of writing. And postage. But there's no writing involved, Bonehead. That's the whole point. Yeah, but we're providing a service and they should pay for it. Oh, yeah? Well, you tell me when you're going to ask Jimmy McLaren. Hmm, that'll be the day. Yeah, well, maybe we won't ask Jimmy McLaren. There's no reason we can't charge the others 5p each. So you're Anna Johnson? Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's you, Pop. We've got to go, right? It's registration. Yeah, I'm coming. But you still ain't told me who else. All right, come down. We'll do it later. Scott? Sir? Poppington? You're late. Sorry, sir. Sit down. Sing? Sir. Stuart? Stuart? Unsworth? Sir. Right. Now, uh, before I forget, Mr. McGuffrey would like to see anybody who's interested in going on a UN weekend in the art room after assembly. A UN weekend? What's that? If you go along, perhaps you'll be able to tell me, Claire. What do you want? My English homework, sir. Why can't he end it in at the right time? Sit down. Uh, he particularly wanted to see Claire Scott, Suzanne, Precious Matthews. Wait till I tell you to go! Christopher Stewart. What? Well, if you'd been here on time, you'd have heard. Right, off you go. You two are late. Oh, sir, so don't mind me late. Was it 29? Oh, don't argue, Patterson. What's all this about, then, sir? Wait till everyone's here and I'll tell you. What do you keep scratching yourself for, Stu? Nothing. I ain't scratching. I am. I've got a really itchy head. Right. Well, it looks as if most of you are here, so we'll start. I'm looking for five people to come on a weekend course run by the United Nations Association. Well, don't look like that, Suzanne. You don't even know what it is yet. Well, I'm not looking like anything. Lime, you can't even breathe without someone criticising. What are you doing this course then, sir? Well, there'll be lots of other schools there, and the idea is, is that each school represents a country. And that Saturday is given over to a mock UN conference. I don't know what the UN does. It's like a school council. You'll sit around and talk about peace and stuff like that. That's right, Suzanne. It's a forum for countries and nation states to negotiate and solve their problems peacefully. It's about as effective as a school council. Oh, well, I wouldn't quite say that. The UN does some excellent work. UNESCO, the Food and Agriculture Organization, the UN Peacekeeping Force. Don't you think the school council's no good then, sir? No, no, I didn't mean to imply that at all. What's the going to be about? Uh, the world food problem. There was a real UN conference on this topic uh, ten years ago. Didn't solve much then, did they? There's millions of people still starving. Yeah, that's because they ain't got no political clout to do anything about it, though, have they? No, man, it's because the rich countries keep them that way. Mm. The only chance a poor country's got is if it's got something we want. That's right. They got something the West wants and they better watch out because the West starts to mess with their government. Well, it's clear from what you've all said so far that you're interested in the sort of issues that'll be discussed that weekend. Uh, can we choose which country you want to be, sir? I have a list here. We can choose one from this, and provided no one else is booked first. Now, who thinks they might be able to go? When is it? How much does it cost? It's the last weekend of term, and it costs £20 for the weekend. Oh, I don't know if I can afford that. I definitely can't. Now, if money's the only problem, it might be possible to help with costs from the school fund. Now, let's just see who'd like to go. Not Precious. I can't. Not that weekend. Not Suzanne. Well, take these letters home, those of you who want to go. Uh, can we be Ethiopia, sir? Blimey's off again. Well, we can uh, certainly write and ask. Why don't you want to go, Sam? Just don't fancy it, that's all. You'd enjoy it once you got there. You just don't want Scuffy to know you're interested, do you? I'm not. That's why. Mm. And why can't you go? Because I've got a Saturday job at a hairdresser's. Really? Wrong again. <laughs> oh, you cheat. Uh-uh. I don't cheat. Got it? Right, who's next? Me, I'll have a go. 
Hey, Patterson. Still ain't had no money. Don't worry. It's all going on the computer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, come up to the computer club this afternoon. We'll see who owes you the money. Later. And most of you are letting yourselves down on presentation, punctuation, spelling, handwriting. Messy work is automatically going to make the examiner think that you're a Well, well I got nicks. Well, I don't care if you have a knot. I understand giving me them. Oh, never... Sir, I haven't had my book back yet. Well, if you haven't had it back, you can't have handed it in, Suzanne. Yeah, but I did give it to you. I gave it to you at registration. Suzanne, I've given back all the books that I had. I have no mark for this piece of work in the register. Oh, so I did give it back to you. You must have lost it. <laughs> I'm not the one who loses books, Suzanne. You seem to think because you're a clever girl, you can do as you please. Well, let me tell you that if you don't pull your socks up and do the work like everybody else, you're going to be out. But, sir, I gave it to you. I'm not wasting any more time arguing with you, Suzanne. Either you find that book or you don't stay in this English class. Now, can we please discuss Jane Eyre's first encounter with Mr. Rochester? But you gave it to him, you saw me. Yeah, well, you know what he's like. I've never heard him admit he's wrong yet. If you throw him out that English class, then that's it. I'm definitely leaving. What are you moaning about now, Ross? Do you know you're always moaning about something? I'm fed up with this place. Oh, blimey, what a game. Are uh, you going on that weekend McGuffey was talking about? No. Go on, it'll be good fun all of us go away together. You going? Yeah, I'm interested in that sort of thing, politics and that. Yeah, but I'm interested in politics. That sort of thing might be about real politics. Just be a whole load of posh kids talking a load of rubbish. So we go and educate them. Tell them what it's really about. Oh, so you think you know what it's really about, do you? I just might not agree with you. In fact, I don't. There's a lot of things you say I don't agree with. There's a lot of things you say that I don't agree with, neither. But you're better than most white people, anyway. Well, thanks a lot. There you are, Glenn. Nice one for you there. Look, easy in, girls. You like him, do you? Glenn, right? Yeah, he's all right. No. I mean, like that. Oh, of course I don't. I just like him, all right? I mean, there aren't many people I like in this place. Miss? There you are. Have you put everybody on this you've brought a letter? I put everybody on this you told them to. Now all you've got to do is program their new names as they come along and you call up any name and find out who ought to be paying the money. Fantastic. It's on store, but you better keep a print out just in case Lexi goes on wipe soon. That would be disastrous. She probably won't. And you reckon we'll be all right till four o'clock this afternoon? Yeah. She reckons she can trust most of the people who come to computer club. Yeah. She usually has a cup of tea before she comes up after school. Great. Up on the emotional and down on the physical. Yeah, but what about the intellectual? Mm -hmm. My English book. How'd you get there? You gave it in. Yeah, I know I did. He must have found it and given it back. Well, he's marked it. And what'd you get? A minus. Does he say anything about finding it? No. You'd have thought he'd apologise. Hold on, maybe this is a note. Oh, no, just some form he's been filling in. It's an E111. You know, one of those things you fill in when you're going abroad? Mm -hmm. His middle name's Cyril. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. Let me look at it. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's got his date of birth. You can work out his five of them. <laughs> no, no, let me do it then. <laughs> Computer club after school, right? Tell everyone he's brought a letter. Yeah, and tell him to be a bit quiet about it. Okay. If you don't have any trouble, OK? Yeah, yeah. sure. Hey, no, I don't know how those letters are. He's doing that chain at the computer now. Did you buy a letter off someone? Yeah. Well, after school, go on to computer club for five p. Tell her how's your money. Afternoon, H5. Yeah. Oh, I understand there seems to be some problem in the school with head lice. So, during the course of the afternoon, you're all going to be sent for to see the school nurse. Oh. Don't moan about it. You've got to have it done, so you might as well put up with it. Yeah, I wondered why I didn't itchy eat. Yeah. I never had one, not till he said it anyway. What do you mean? You've been scratching all flipping morning. Right. Six girls, go and see her now. What happens if they get in your turban, then? I don't have head lice. 
<laughs> Not much. All that air. <laughs> I keep it clean and covers. Are you going on holidays this year, sir? What? I don't know. Uh... Left that in my book. Ah, yes. Thank you. I'm sorry about the muddle over the book, Suzanne. I found I did have yours after all. Yeah, I know. It was a very good piece of work, Suzanne. Thank you. People can't tell if you've got them just by looking, can they? The nurse can. No, I know that, but other people. You know, looking like I'm looking at you now. It's a Tell me if you've got a lot of them. My grand's a short sat behind from on the bus, and our left is moving. Yeah, don't forget that. Off you go. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Oh, I hope I haven't got them. I don't suppose you have. What do you mean? I don't like your type of air. What type of air? Wiry, black people's. Hmm. Lots of eggs. They're all dead, miss. Honestly, I've been treated. Well, they may all be dead, but I'd like you to treat yourself again, please. Just in case you've got reinfected. All right. Now, the lotion's the best. Put it on before you go to bed and wash it off in the morning. But it stinks. <laughs> well, it can't be helped, I'm afraid. And Claire, another time let the school know. There's absolutely no point in everyone treating themselves individually. You all have to be treated at the same time. Yes, miss. It's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. If anything, they prefer clean hair. Hey, Precious, wouldn't it be funny if you weren't giving all your customers nits? <laughs> and why do you think I'm so bothered about it? Where'd you work, anyway? Never mind. Oh, we're not going to come round and put up a big sign saying your stylist got nits, you know. Did you have to ask the school's permission to do what you're doing? You're supposed to have an employment certificate from the education office. Well, I haven't got one. You won't tell anyone, will you? Howard or Smart or anyone? No, of course we won't tell them. How long do you work? Well, I do a couple of hours after school, three days a week, and all day Saturday. You're not supposed to work more than four hours on a Saturday. You can if you're 15. If you're 15, you can do eight hours. Even so, they'll have a fit if they found out, though, wouldn't they? You know, going about your exams and... How much do you pay? Mind your own business. Not go and tell us. Twelve pounds a week. Twelve pounds? Well, for all those hours? Well, that's slave labour, that is. You wouldn't catch me working well, for Well, I'm that. not doing it for the money, am I? Why are you doing it, then? Because I want to get on a course when I leave school. It's not easy these days, you know. And so, they're really ripping you off, young precious. And the next. Well, it isn't the dentist, you know. You got nicks? No. Well, you got the stuff then. Just in case. Uh, Jenny. Hello. Am I right in thinking you've got a computer club now? Yes, that's right. Every Tuesday. My weekly penance. Do you get many going? Not usually. Uh, do you mind if I come with you tonight? No. Only I have a feeling there may be a few more there than usual. And who did you say owes me 20p? Janice. Willard. But I don't know who she is. We'll find out. I can't do everything for you. Oi, oi. Stop pushing, will you? Everyone's going to get a turn. No one's paid us any money yet. Right, what's your name? Mark Thompson. Right, five feet, please. Nothing due to yet. Did you sell you five letters? Yeah, I sold one to him. Yeah, but I could only sell three. I couldn't find anyone else who wasn't on the list already. Well, you're going to have to keep trying. And you got any friends outside school? Yeah, but they're already on the list, too. Sorry, nothing I can do. What do you mean, there's nothing you can do? You sold the letters to him, didn't you? I can't do anything if you've run out of people. Run out of people? Does that mean we ain't going to get no money? No. I mean, yes, yeah, of course you're going to get some money. It's the early lot are going again. They don't want to go in again. Of course they don't. And I don't blame them. You've done this lot, Patterson. Yeah, you've done us. Flipping con, that's what it is. He's even taking 5 p off all these little kids just to tell them they ain't gonna get nothing. Yeah, another 5 p. He'd all right out of it, though, didn't he? I think we'd have passed something back, Patterson. What do you think, boys? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. What on earth are you all doing here? 
All these people aren't members of the computer club. I would never have left it open if I'd known. I don't think it's computers they're interested in, as it happens, Miss Lexington. More a little uh, money-making racket. Hey, Douglas? Yes, sir. The old chain letter updated. Everybody get the money they thought they were going to? No. no. Ah, I wonder why that is. Perhaps you all ought to come to Computer Club for the next few weeks and Miss Lexington can explain why. Spare me. Or perhaps we can ask your maths teacher to uh, go into why a market can never expand indefinitely. You started this, did you, Patterson? Yes, sir. Anybody else? Me, sir. And me. Right. Well, the rest of you can go. Don't worry, lads. He ain't gonna get away with this. Well, Mrs. McCluskey will be very interested when you go and tell her about this tomorrow. She has very strong views on something for nothing. Is uh, everything all right in this room, Miss Lexington? Nothing being damaged? I think it's all right, though I would like it tidied up. Right. You'd better get started then, hadn't you? And you can erase that for a start. So we're gonna get some money, Patson. Look, mate, there's nothing I can do. Chain that stocks before your name gets to the top. Nothing I can do. You did pretty well out of it, though, didn't you? Yeah, how much you make? Not a lot. How much? You must have taken at least ten quid this afternoon. Don't be stupid. It was under five. I'll tell you what. I've got an idea. We'll split it. You get all the money out your pocket and put it on your arm. And throw it like in paint up the wall. You can have all the heads and we'll have the rest. That's fair, isn't it? Yeah, it's fair, Pogo. I mean, you've got to give them something anyway, haven't you? Okay. Oh dear, you've dropped some Pogo. You're going to have to do it again. Oh. Not those ones, we'll pick those up later. We'll use the ones in your pocket. Come on. Do as the man says, Pogo. That's a good lad. Oh dear, you've dropped him again. Leave it out. Come on, boys. Grab what you can. Hey, that's not fair. You said we could have the eggs. Yeah, and you said we could have 600 quid. Go on, Pogo. Come on, boys. 